This is Jupiter Today for the 9th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. Today there are six Jupiter satellite events and four satellite mutual events. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day just past its western elongation and going into quadrant 2, heading west. Europa starts the day in quadrant 4, heading east. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant 3, quadrant 2, heading west. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant 1, heading east. At 111 UTC, Callisto goes through an apogee, that's the furthest distance it is from Jupiter in this orbit, and that distance is 1,896,512.2 kilometers. At 4.50 UTC, Europa goes through a perigee, and that's the closest it's going to be to Jupiter in this orbit, and that distance is 664,924.4 kilometers. And then at 5.28 UTC, Io goes through a perigee. Notice that the perigees are on opposite sides of Jupiter. And that distance is 420,027.7 kilometers. So by six hours UTC, Io is now firmly in quadrant two, heading west. At 9.46 UTC, the transit of EO begins. At 10.29 UTC, the shadow of EO ingresses. And by 12 hours UTC, EO is transiting and is moving into quadrant three, heading west. At 12.04 UTC, the transit of EO ends. And then at 12.46, UTC, the shadow of EO egresses. From 1320 to 1321, EO occults Europa, and it's a 0.8 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.979 arc seconds. It's just a graze, a very, very, very shallow uh, magnitude flux drop of 0.002 magnitudes. But it's a pretty decent distance from Jupiter, 24.05 arc seconds, so perhaps worth photographing. And then from 1420 to 1424 UTC, EO eclipses Europa. That's a 4.3 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.458 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.428 magnitudes. Unfortunately, it's very, very close to Jupiter, 8.1 arc seconds away. Io and Europa are 34.63 arc seconds apart. And then at 1458 UTC, Europa moves behind Jupiter. And then at 18 hours UTC, Io is now firmly in quadrant three, heading west. And Europa is moving behind Jupiter, and is now going into quadrant one, heading east. And at 1916, Europa does reappear from behind the shadow of Jupiter. And from 2130 to 2135, Ganymede occults Europa. It's a 4.3 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.692 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.135 magnitudes, and this event is 55.43 arc seconds from Jupiter. And then at the end of the day, 2335 to 2343, Ganymede eclipses Europa. That's an 8.1 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.036 arc seconds, so that's an almost full eclipse with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.465 magnitudes, and it's a good distance away from Jupiter, 84.57 
arcseconds away, and Ganymede and Europa are 55.42 arcseconds. So those of you who can see this event, that would be a great photometric event, um, or, you know, a photographic event as well. And at zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO has gone past its western elongation and is now in quadrant four, heading east. And Europa is now firmly in quadrant one, heading east. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the t temporal and spatial connections between the moons of Jupiter. So here's Eo and Europa, and Eo and Ganymede, Eo and Callisto, and then Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and then finally Ganymede and Callisto, and then I combine all of those. And we get that for today. 24 hours of Jupiter sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter, just above the clouds. Looking out and rotating with Jupiter. So over a 24 hour period, we go through a couple of rotations. There's Eo just moving in front of Ganymede there. And there's Eo going between Jupiter and the Sun. And as seen from Earth, that's a transit. There goes Europa into Jupiter's shadow. Should see it pop out. Here it is. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today. The first at 3.02, second at 12.58, and the third at 22.53 UTC. There were no new images, but there was some new radio data collected on the 8th of March. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 6 minutes, 21.8 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 37 minutes, 0 0.8 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun is 145.946 degrees, and that's 1.092 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle is 5.975 degrees, and that's 0 0.171 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth today is 671,712,699 kilometers, and that's 1,329,914 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 55,413.08 kilometers per hour, and that's 1,575.12 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 799,070,623 kilometers, and that's 45,079 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,878.29 kilometers per hour. And that's 3.54 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. Central Meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 203.96 degrees, 
CM2, 348.24 degrees. CM3, 264.81 degrees. Time of this recording is 0 hours 14 minutes UTC on the 9th of March 2015. So please subscribe and like this video. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the new subscribers. Hope you enjoy the show and the information that is presented. I'm trying to give it a number of different perspectives just to be aware of how dynamic this system is and trying to understand what it can tell us about itself and the universe in general. So you can send your comments and questions and suggestions and images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.